Hi, I'm Trace Crutchfield, and we're here on This Is Now with Scott Ritter today to talk about world problems. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background and what your expertise is then. Well, I was a intelligence officer in the United States Marine Corps, and I had a specialty in the Middle East in arms control, nonproliferation. See, I've been very critical of uh, the American government's policy vis-a-vis -vis Iraq. What do you think the biggest single mistake that they just continue to make is? Arrogance, hubris, uh, the notion that 300 million people, that's the population of the United States of America, gets to dictate the terms of coexistence with 6.8 billion other people. Well, it's an interesting point as global citizens. You know, I, I was just thinking the other day that now China has our Olympics. Yeah. Gone ahead and taken that from us. Do we need to worry about China dominating space or is the United States right there with them? They don't need to dominate space. They just need to exploit our dependence on our need to be dominating space. Should I teach my young little son Spanish or Chinese? Because I don't see this English thing lasting that much longer. I'd advise your son to learn both Spanish and Chinese, but never forget that English is the, the, the mother tongue. Yeah, I mean, the Chinese, that whole one-child policy for so long made them have so many more men. They must have a gigantic army. Numbers isn't mm. the, the key. Um, technology is the key. If you know anything about Chinese-Russian animosity, that technology is coming over the border into China because the Chinese and the Russians have taken a look at the world and said, hey, we got an empire out there that's dangerous. That's called the United States of America. Mm. To this day, the Chinese don't have global force projection. Um, but, you know, the Chinese, they don't think about tomorrow or next year or the year after that. They're, they're projecting 50 to 100 years down the road. Mm -hmm. And if we don't make good with the Chinese now, you know, 100 years from now, the American empire could come to a screaming halt. That is really, really sad. Yeah. Well, thanks a lot, Scott, for being with us. The fans of This Is Now are going to be well served by your visitation. Thank you very much for having me. Bye-bye, guys. And now, the band.